Hi everyone, this is William and we are Franchise Kingdom. We gonna see this time Avatar The Last Airbender The Journey to the Spirit World. Um, this episode is actually a game and actually apparently someone uh, upload all the cutscenes of the game or something like that um, so I think it's gonna be cool um, the only thing that I know about this is that it's supposed to be between book 2 and book 3 so I'm really excited to see plus after that we also gonna make um, a reaction or a review I still don't know about the what's the name um the last the last parts of the lost adventures so wait to that Oh, do not have voice. Okay. What happened? Where am I? You are in the spirit world. Oh, Princess Yu Yu. <laughs> Ink, your avatar spirit. <coughs> Sorry. You wanted me really to do voices? I'm not that good at doing that. Yeah, that's how the previous episode. Okay, that's it. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, okay. So we're gonna see Ko again. Okay. So uh, apparently it's gonna be Ang versus Ko and his minions. Yeah. Oh, gonna receive some backstory for Roku? That's good. One hundred fifty four. Okay. Oh, look, uh, young, young Roku. Apparently, it's one of the sages that is... Oh! Uh, the guy that helped him, I think. I don't remember the name, but... Uh, he, I remember he's talking about his grandfather, so... He must be. Oh, five months! Hmm. Okay. Okay. What he did, I don't know. Oh. Oh, that should that could be helpful. Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, of course. But the problem is, oh, we, we're gonna see Kyoshi now. Good. Um, <laughs> oh, hey, bye. It's it's really interesting. The I'm gonna say something, <laughs> but this art style. It's better than the ones of the games, uh, first game, second game. The I make a review with them. Yeah, that was uh, bad. Like, why you do that? Oh. That's a long time to live. Okay. I mean, if you look to the Earth King right now, it's not that much different. Right. <laughs> okay, great, 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 grandfather. <laughs> okay, interesting. I mean, that's that's stupid. <laughs> Your guards don't have a chance against her. Especially, yeah, especially if she already mastered other elements. Two. Hmm. So basically, make me chief of the army. Wait. Wow. It's amazing, like when she say uh, protect the cultural and thing like I didn't didn't catch just by that. She basically creates daily, not just train. I mean, yeah, it's, okay. I'd say later. Oh, Avatar Kurok. So we know another name of a past Avatar. Yeah, I remember that monkey. I mean, maybe it's not the same one. No, he has a face. Yeah, you could see. Okay, so we finally meet um, Kuruk. Oh, we wow. It's amazing how much we are learning. <laughs> how much we are learning. <laughs> what the fuck? How much we are learning about the past avatars and stuff. Oh, uh, of course. This is how the avatar would be if Soka was the avatar. Like, come on.
Soka. <laughs> Come on! You you cannot say to me that is not have a connection. I'm not saying that uh, is a descendant or anything. I am saying like a, a spiritual connection. So many things are the same. Okay. Umi. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce. I'm just guessing because we do not have voice acting here. So. Damn, that's depressing. Oh. Yep, kinda. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Okay, but... Like... That's how it works? Okay, so we're gonna see one more avatar? Wow, that's amazing. Young... Young Chen. Or Yang Chen, I don't know how I'm gonna be pronounced that in English or Asia way. I suppose it's Yang Chen. How should it be? It's true. Um, well, true. Also, if you never die, you become like, there's a lot of problems with that. I agree with everything that Yangshan, right? It's telling him right now. Yep, absolutely true. <laughs> you will not be able to relate. Hmm, that, that's a really good question. Okay. Wait, what? Really? That awesome dream? We finish Avatar The Last Airbender, The Lost Adventures, and The Travel for the Spirit Road. So, um, I finished recording, but you probably only see the, the travel, because we have some problems, uh, and the second part of the video was corrupted. So we're gonna basically do a resume for the second part for you guys. <clears throat> but first of all, let me talk about the first part, that the one that you see. 
we see Aang after the finale of the second book where he go into uh, personal travel into his own past he see Roku that have a difficult timing learning how to master the avatar state and even destroy the temple <laughs> the same temple that he destroyed again when he was possessing Aang that was uh, funny um, also we see the grandfather of the same guy that help us uh, when Aang and everyone go and the same temple on the winter solstice part 2 we also see again Heibai to help us find Kyoshi and Kyoshi is the longest live avatar ever I don't remember the exact time length but yeah that was impressive and when we see Boomy and think that he live a long time Kyoshi live a long time also we see a lot of background of the time where Kyoshi live and how the Earth Kingdom was kinda the Earth King was exactly like the same that was here uh, our time and an or time right um, and the king was completely uh, in the opposite direction of the people so Kiyoshi just decided to create uh, the Dai Li basically and it was such an amazing time that when when she say oh so and I just gonna create uh, uh, help to preserve the culture and I was okay that's cool and now they were showing more more and when I see oh wait that hand with the the globe of earth wait that's not and, and th then she say that she created the daily and I was what the fuck <laughs> the and of course she didn't did not knew that uh, her creation basically uh, help to maintain the distance from uh, the people and the king even more for at least two generations maybe um, just a second <coughs> And we also see Avatar Kuruk again. I don't know how it's pronounced his name, and also Avatar um, Yangsheng or Yangsheng. I don't know uh, because was or not pronounced. I'm gonna try to use an Asian pronunciation. I d I know the Asian pronunciation did not exist. Okay, but <laughs> so Avatar Kuruk was the avatar before avatar Kyoshi we already see him before but we did not knew anything about him besides the fact that um, he was avatar and he was from the other tribe um, <clears throat> from the images I cannot really say from where he was but I gonna maybe say maybe the north tribe because he was in love with someone there but then again he said that he traveled through the whole planet um, challenge people to an uh, Agni Kai and things like that and I even say in the video that Avatar Kuruk it's basically how Sokka would be as an avatar um, we, we, in fact, we have an Avatar Soka um, comic book, but in, in that comic, we see more Soka as a famous person, like he was just enjoying and everything. But like, if you really think about how Soka would be as an Avatar for a full life, would probably probably be like Kurok was. 
especially because um, Sokka at the time was more, how should I say that, less sexist, less uh, want to bring a fight with everyone that he sees and things like that. And it was just like Kurok was saying that he was. <clears throat> um, we also learn more about um, the woman uh, face that we see with Ko was uh, his lover interest, Kurok. So, yeah. We also see Avatar Yangshan. I'm gonna say Yangshan because, yeah. And she was talking about how the uh, the connection and how the avatar should not be a powerful entity above everyone and he should just be with everyone and I, I agree with this if the avatar was just an above creature that was so powerful and was never uh, it was an immortal he was just become to be he was become to not care about people. And he will not be able to sympathize with people. So he has to learn this every time. I kind of think... I, I, I like the idea. But I think that they could, at the very least, make some knowledge to be transferred easily. Without then have to master the avatar state, you know? Because the thing is I'm not saying the whole idea is really cool with the circle of knowledge, the circle of life but also means that every time the avatar um, die and is reborn he is suspended he he could make the same as mistakes that he already did and this is kind of not good but okay uh we're probably going to talk more about this in another time in the end young shen said that he would not remember anything <laughs> so good for nothing um, well, I guess that the journey helped him to connect with his past lives, even if she said that he will not be able to enter the Avatar state easily. Hmm. What that means? That means that the Avatar state returns back to the idea of being just a self-defense mechanism, or is even further sealed. I don't know. I guess we're gonna see. Before we finish the video, let me talk about the the last stories. So, just like the journey, we have also uh, other stories to pass at the same time. We have It's Only Natural that follows Soka and well, kind of was just Soka. In the beginning, we see uh, Toph. But uh, she basically disappeared later. Um, Sokka was trying to make Bosco, the, the beer, be more like a beer. Like, yeah, that was the story. Um, in the end, the king decided to just go and become a normal person. That's basically the story. Um, the second story was going home again which we see Zuko and that was really interesting we see Zuko basically treating uh, treating Aang, uh, wait no, Iroh uh, as a traitor he did not talk with Iroh directly but we t he talked with the soldiers and say uh, the soldiers was, were talking really good about Iroh like how he was a general and uh, an inspirational person and Zuko say Yo, guys, he's a traitor. So, like, ah, Zuko. 
we also see more about Azula, and she has a master plan to convince Zuko to go with her to the Fire Nation, and basically involve Mei and Zuko be together. <laughs> yeah, basically like that. The plan is really good, but again, Zuko, it's completely stupid. <laughs> How he is so easily manipulated every time by her. Like, every time. Every time. It's amazing. <sighs> the, the thing about Azula, I really like her. But she don't have anyone to compete against. Who's the best villain of the show so far? It's of course is Azula, because we only have stupid people as a villain. Um, Zuko was not a villain until maybe right now, or even maybe in the beginning, like the first two episodes. Iroh was never a villain. We have that guy on the prison who was really stupid. We have Zhao was even more stupid. So we have Long Feng that made really cruel things but was really stupid as I say in the episodes so she don't have opponents which is sad because she is really smart and she kind of dominate the whole universe of characters because no one is not even it's not that no one is smart enough to be able to make a battle with words with her no it's not that the problem no one is smart <laughs> just that so it's really sad because if we have at least one person we would be able to appreciate way more Azula because she was able to overcome someone that is really smart but she don't have this confrontation Zuko is she just say I don't want you to go there and he, I go there, yes, but in the end was just that what Azula wants him to do, so he it's manipulate so easy, and Long Fang, as he as she said before, he was not even a player, and it's true. The last story was about Katara, and Sokka managed to make a plan to then invade the Fire Nation. Uh, destroying their ships and capturing the ships basically and with the whole story Kataro is just nar um, the narrator narrator yeah I think and he's just telling all the events also I, I, I want to make a point there is a scene uh, almost in the finish of the story where Soka and his dad is, are talking and a fire camp and she's like outside really long uh, really uh, away of, of them and I can only think in two possibilities of that the first one that came in mind was that she's kinda in a way with a long fear of fire not like just Appa level of, of scared, no Appa, Appa has a really long trauma I'm saying just like, I don't know some kind of that that's my first thing that I came in mind but, but a second ago I was thinking, wait, that not make any sense it was like, I don't know, lighting Maybe because she see Aang uh, be hit by Azula, so okay, but it was not that the case. So what I'm thinking is the second possibility is that she is some way angry with her father, and this was back when the thing is if we pay much attention in the story so far we have Sokka always talking about his father and 
um, our little sister Katara. I forgot the name. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I always talk about her mother, which okay makes sense. Um, kids usually do that, especially in fiction. Like they talk about the ones that they. Uh, have more attachment or they just want to see more especially if they are a long time separated and I think it makes sense in the point of view of Sokka because he always was talking about uh, his father as a warrior and, and things like that and Katara as her what I, we know about her also makes sense she always talk about her mother because one of the things that she always talk about is how the grudge that she has about the fire nation which comes again with the plot that i said in zuka alone about separate people from nations but that's another story but some episodes ago we see when the, um katara was received the letter and they had to go to see they could go to see uh, the father and she just give to Sokka and at the time I just say oh that's really nice of her and but I, I also say um, well that's sad because if she did not do that Aang and Katara could go together and basically everything that happens wrong and the finale would not happen because Aang would be with Katara, would finish the Avatar state, uh, Sokka would be in a, in a capital and probably would recognize the Kyoshi warriors before than uh, Katara or would see Zuko and would not make what she did was really stupid so I was thinking okay but now I'm, I'm beginning to think it and it would make sense that she had some grudge against her against him because we see how much the water tribe is sexist I don't know if that's the case but it would make sense okay because I was talking about it in the comment section also because one of the things that oh Sokka is really sexist uh, but he has to learn from somewhere and that's true um, and the only ones that could teach him if he never left the village are the adults that go in the war and I suppose his father is one because again which is the same thing about what happened in the North Pole. Paku is sexist, yes, but he's not the problem. The whole episode was really good, but they missed completely the, the, the point because the problem was the leader of the village. And the same thing would happen in the South Village. The leader of the village was probably, uh, what is his name? Sokka's father? I forgot. So, he is the problem. That's the thing. It's the same thing. If Paco is sexist, doesn't matter, because if the leader of the North Trap was not, he would not be, or at the very least, he would not impose that. The leader will say, "You gotta teach girls as well," and that's final. You gonna obey me? That's the same thing with the softball. So I'm guessing that this probably would. The, f the father is probably also sexist, and that's explaining a lot about Katara being so fine, so repulsive. Again, I think it's repulsive as well, but the episode itself was not a bad thing, was not a good thing for her at the time. Um, I wonder how this is gonna go. Also, I wonder if his... Uh, so can Katara's father uh, knows that Katara is a water bender, and I wonder if this will change anything because of that. I don't know. 
I don't think would be that simple. It's not. It's never that simple. Um. Yeah, I think that uh, we finished the comics and the game with everyone in the Fire Nation. <sighs> Ang is still in his coma, so. I'm guessing that the first episode of the last book is gonna begin with Aang waking up or with Aang already wake up and they're gonna talk about what they did at the time. I don't know, maybe. <sighs> yep, I think it's that. For today, and we see you guys in the last book. Let me know what you think about the game and what you think about the last stories. And yeah, I'm really excited to see the last book. Bye.